Hey everybody, welcome to Halo RV. Coming in today on trade, we have a 3160 pound little Wolf Pup 16 FQ. This gives us a uh, front walk around kind of fold out Murphy bed that sort of gives us the benefits of having like the space of a slide out without the weight and the cost of a slide out. This is one owner. It was originally purchased right here at Halo RV uh, last year, I believe. The folks took it out, had a lot of good times, and just decided they needed something a little bit bigger. Now, one of the things that uh, I really pride myself on is shooting you straight. There's a little ding on the back corner here. As uh, my Uncle Gary would say, Done got boogered up. And that's just how he says it. That being said, that is the only blemish I've been able to find on this one. They've upgraded the shower head. They put a vent cover over that Max Air fan back there. The uh, spare tire doesn't look like it's seen the light of day. It's just a really nice way to save a very good chunk compared to a brand new copy of this camper that we'd have here at Halid RV uh, while still getting a nearly new camper. Now what's kind of interesting here is this is a model that actually comes through our pre-owned lineup with fair regularity. So the question might be, why is that? What, people don't like them when they have them? And I think the short answer is no. Um, th this is just statistically a very popular model. There are just literally more of them out there. There's more opportunities to get them on trade. And as a small camper, uh, this is very often like a first time camper for a lot of people who later decide, yeah, okay, camping is for me. I'll go ahead and update and upgrade, which is exactly what these last folks did. They found a, a eight foot wide uh, ultralight that uh, had a super slide uh, at Halid RV and decided, hey, we, we could go ahead and get something larger. Storage below the sofa right there, because that's basically going to kind of mirror the storage you get under your bed, not to mention the fact that this does have that uh, fold-out mattress there when you need it. Now, what is also kind of cool here is just like the storage under the bed, they also gave us uh, good storage beside and above the bed. And notice, too, that you have those handy side stands, both with household and USB outlets. This has all the stuff that like a normal walk around bed would have or a, a sofa would have. It just has it all wrapped up and overlapping into one space. But the thing is, nothing says you have to use it in sofa Murphy bed mode. Nothing says you 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 have to use it any other way. Like you could just leave the mattress down if you want to put a replacement non-folding mattress in. This is a model that gives you a lot of flexibility. So it, it can work for, I think, more than one person in, in more than one way. Has a furnace, of course, but also you see that full size 13,500 BTU roof air. The stereo is uh, Bluetooth and, uh, you know, AM, FM, but it does have some handy, like, uh, plugs if you want to upgrade to, like, a streaming stick or something, you can. If you're interested, you see that you could put a TV against the wall straight across from that kind of Murphy simulated cinema sofa thing right there, and your TV hookups will be above, inclusive of HDMI wiring, which is amazingly something the RV industry is still not very good and very consistent about. Jayco's actually pretty good about that. So, uh, dinette can fold down to a little sleeper if need be. Uh, there's storage below the benches. All of the countertops in this, by the way, are a sealed edge press membrane. And if you are new to camping, if you don't know what that means, basically uh, there, there's not like a seam where potentially spilled water or dribbled water from that sink over there could sink into the countertops and cause it to swell and cause issues. It's kind of funny. Um, Wolf Pup was really one of the very first mainstream brands to adopt this kitchen arrangement with that flush mount sink and stove, which is something you find in a lot of bigger RVs, but not usually small ones that are really price sensitive. And now it's like everybody's trying to catch up to what they've been doing. Wolf Pup's just been doing it for a little bit longer. By the way, just so you can see what's nice here, little campers usually have little sinks. And that big sink right there, if you've actually got like a pot or pan, if you've been boiling some water, it's nice that you can actually get it in there with the handle to let it soak or scrub the thing out. Ooh, ooh, smart. Somebody added a little rubber baby buggy bumper over here on the, the, the counter or cabinet corner so, you know, they didn't jab themselves. That, by the way, is a six cubic foot gas electric two-way fridge. Uh, not one of the 12 volt compressor fridges that Wolf Pups would come in today. I know this looks very similar to how Wolf Pup looks today. So I want to make sure I pointed that out. Good leg room and hip and shoulder room around that toilet, by the way, which is a nice thing they do here. This is just a simple shower, but I do like that they have, uh, you know, it's easy to step in a, a shower surround. And previous owners upgraded that shower head right there, give you a little bit more pressure effectively. Up top, we've got ourselves that power vent fan. If you're interested in an upgraded vent fan, 
larger fan. That's something that we can do here for you. And this one does a fantastic job of giving us some really good counter space for a little camper. Some storage below that for, you know, your uh, toilet paper and, and, and other toiletries, body washes. I would say hair care products, but I don't have a whole lot of need for that with my balding head. <laughs> now we've got, uh, remember that storage under the sofa on the inside of the camper, but outside here we obviously have that large compartment as well. This was made before the Cherokee Juice Pack was available, but it does still have a simple side mount solar prep plug, so it doesn't have that uh, battery tending roof solar package that you expect on a lot of the newer Cherokees. It does, however, have almost everything else the new Cherokees have, like those stable steps, the power awning, um, and this one was also upgraded to feature a power tongue jack that normally would not have been found on the, the basic series here. That tends to come included from the factory on the black label series, so that's another upgrade the owners put on there. You know, they used it, they took good care of it, they bumped that rear bumper, obviously, which is a bummer, but, uh, you know, we shot you straight on that kind of stuff. I want to give you a tour along the roof here so that you can see it's been cleaned, it hasn't been snagged, I haven't found any, you know, rips, tears, um, seals look good. Everything on it up there pretty much looks exactly how you uh, you would expect it. Now, a nice little thing here is you notice the stovetop vent hood actually does vent outside. That is a key little detail that's missed on a lot of little trailers. And, and it is nice that you have these breeze-through windows right here, but you don't have to rely on them if you're cooking. You still have that exhaust vent hood. And a full outside shower on a little camper like this is a very rare thing. Another thing that um, is often not included on a little trailer like this is the fact that this has a gas and electric water heater. It's um, dual fuel, I guess you could say. And little campers like this, that's a very uncommon thing. The uh, roof is fully walkable, by the way. I just, you know, basically taped a camera to a broom and waved it around up there to get you that footage. <laughs> that aftermarket Max Air cover the folks put on there to give you some rainy day airflow. And this cargo rack back here has a 200 pound rating that is before the spare tire. Uh, so, uh, you know, if you got like a small generator, some bicycles or coolers or something like that, it's going to take care of you. Power awning with lighting and that big campsite window over here. One of the things I like about it too is it almost kind of frames up if you're interested in an outside entertainment center. You see the speakers on both sides, but it also has a TV hookup down below. Polish it all off with that, uh, you know, wolf emblem emblazoned uh, stable steps right there to take the herky-jerkiness out of it. Similarly, you also have um, four corner stabilizer jack. So if, you know, this is gonna be your first camper, those are the kind of details you may not realize. Like, is the camper gonna make me seasick when people come and go in and out of it? Stable steps and four corner jacks are things that little campers like this very often just don't have. That's what's going to be kind of cool here. If you're looking for your first camper or you're just looking to get rid of the old family pop-up and get some for just the two of you, but you don't need anything big, you got a limited tow rating, this is going to work for a lot of really nice people. I hope you appreciate the way that I shot you straight on, a, uh, you know, like that bumper where, where it's been dinged up. You know, I don't want you folks driving all the way here and being like, oh, yeah, you're just like all those guys. You hid this stuff from me till I got here, but I guess I'll take it anyway. You, you got me. I want you coming here because you're like, yeah, you know what? I appreciate that they shot me straight. That sounds good. Hit the subscribe button, follow along with us, and give our team a call when you're ready. I'm short of that, take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halo camping, everyone.